Ever wondered what type of card Capital One offers? Ever rummaged through your wallet, pulled out a card, and completely blanked on what kind it is? Maybe it's a store card, a debit card, or that mysterious rewards card you signed up for ages ago. Today's struggle? Figuring out what type of card Capital One offers. Capital One's commercials are everywhere, catchy jingles, celebrity endorsements, promises of epic travel rewards. But what kind of plastic are they actually handing out? Is it a credit card powerhouse, a debit card disruptor, or something else entirely? The Reveal Here's the plot twist. Capital One isn't just one type of card. They actually issue two of the most common payment methods, credit cards and store cards, depending on your financial goals and spending habits. Diving deeper, credit cards. Let's unpack the credit card side of Capital One. These are the cards you've probably seen advertised the most. They allow you to borrow money from the bank to make purchases, with the expectation that you'll pay it back in full by the due date, ideally, to avoid interest charges. Capital One offers a wide range of credit cards, each catering to different needs. Here are some highlights. Rewards cards, earn points or cash back on your everyday spending. Popular options include VentureX for travel enthusiasts or Quicksilver for a flat cash back rate. Low APR cards, minimize interest charges with introductory 0% APR periods on purchases or balance transfers. Secured cards, build your credit history with a card that requires a security deposit. Understanding the pros and cons. Credit cards can be powerful tools, but they come with responsibility. Here's a quick rundown of the good, the bad, and the ugly. Pros, build credit, access rewards, manage cash flow, emergency purchases. Cons, potential for debt, high interest rates, annual fees, late payment penalties. Capital One Store Cards Now, let's switch gears and talk about Capital One Store Cards. These cards are co-branded with specific retailers, offering benefits like discounts, exclusive offers, and points redeemable for store purchases. They typically have lower credit score requirements than traditional credit cards. Pros and Cons of Store Cards Store cards can be a good fit for loyal shoppers, but there are downsides to consider. Pros, targeted discounts, store-specific rewards, easier approval. Cons, limited use outside the store, potentially high interest rates, temptation to overspend. Choosing the right Capital One card for you. So, which Capital One card is right for you? It depends. Here are some questions to ponder. What are your spending habits? Everyday purchases, big-ticket items, travel? Do you want to earn rewards? Cash back, travel miles, store discounts? What's your credit score? Different cards have different credit worthiness requirements. Do you struggle with managing debt? Credit cards can be tempting, so be honest with yourself. Beyond Capital One. Remember, Capital One isn't the only credit card issuer on the block. Explore options from other banks and credit unions to find the best fit for your financial situation. K-Means Clustering for Data Analysis This section speaks directly to the audience and isn't part of the video script. Hey there, data enthusiasts! If you're interested in performing K-Means Clustering Analysis on a data set, Python offers some fantastic libraries to make your life easier. Here are a couple of popular choices. Scikit-learn, a versatile machine learning library with a user-friendly k-means implementation. Pandas, a data analysis powerhouse that integrates seamlessly with Scikit-learn for data manipulation. So, there you have it. Capital One offers both credit cards and store cards, catering to different financial goals. Remember, responsible credit card use can be a great way to build credit and earn rewards, but always spend within your means.